Welcome back. So to start today's video, I'm going to tell you one of my biggest fears, which I feel like a lot of people can relate to in some way or another. So have you ever been downstairs in a basement or something and you need to turn off the lights and you bolt it upstairs because you're afraid of what is behind you, of what you cannot see? Like if you don't bolt it up the stairs at your top speed, something is going to come up from the darkness, grab your ankles and drag you down to hell. Well, I bolt up the stairs at my top, top speed, which is not very fast, but I bolt up the stairs not because I am afraid of monsters, for the most part, but because I am afraid that someone is living in my basement. But have you ever seen those stories on the news or something where somebody had been living in someone's attic or their basement and they had just been living in there and no one knew until they caught it on camera or they saw the person in real life or they don't catch them at all and they just live in their house? See, that is really scary and that is one of my fears. So in light of this, I am going to tell you this story that I found from BuzzFeed that really freaked me out as I read it because it's about this guy who was living in his girlfriend's attic without the parents knowing. And I guess you could say it's not as scary as having a person live in your house that no one knows about, but it's still really freaky to know that there's a dude that was living in your house and you had no idea at first. And the title of the article is A man was arrested for living in the attic crawl space of his 14-year-old girlfriend's bedroom. And so I feel like they put the girl's age in there because this guy was 18 and he was dating a 14-year-old. Um, that does happen and I've seen it happen like at my high school. It was kind of weird, but you know, like, I don't know your story, so... But I do know this guy's story and it's very strange. So a lot of states have different rules about age differences in dating if you're under 18 or if someone in the relationship is over 18, but According to Tennessee law, their relationship was in terms of consent with their state, so it was okay. So this 18-year-old guy named Matthew Castro was living in his girlfriend's attic crawl space without her parents knowing, and so he would sneak out at night into her bedroom and I guess they would see each other. But the entrance to the attic was in her bedroom closet, so it was pretty easy for him to sneak out and sneak back in because it was in her room. So the Tennessee police actually arrested him twice for doing this. And the first time he got caught, they chased him up to the attic and they found him trying to hide under a bunch of Christmas decorations. Not the best hiding spot if you ask me. And so they pulled him out and they arrested him. And then on Wednesday, he went to court for the case. But the funny thing is, is that a week later, he did the exact same thing. He snuck back into his girlfriend's house, started living in the attic, and then the police got a call from, I think it was a neighbor, who saw him trying to sneak into the house. I mean, if I were the neighbors and I knew who lived in that house and I saw a man trying to sneak into like the girl's bedroom or into the attic, I'd probably call the cops too. And so the cops get a call from the neighbor and I guess that they already kind of knew what it was about because they literally did the exact same thing with this dude a week before. And so they arrive to the house and they wait for the mother, I guess, to answer the door and let them in. And so the mother lets the police into the house and they immediately go to the attic because they kind of already know what's happening. And they find him in the exact same place. He is trying to hide under the Christmas decorations, not for the first time, but the second time. I'm pretty sure that you can declare this man as insane because the definition of insanity is trying to do the same thing over and over, but expecting a different result. And this man decided to hide under the Christmas decorations, not once, but twice. And so a week right after he had his court case, he goes back and does the exact same thing. And so he's been caught for this twice. And then he does it a third time. But this time, the mother comes home from work and maybe she's home a little early or something and she walks through the door and looks up at the staircase and sees him standing at the top of the staircase just staring down at her. First of all, that would freak me out. If I saw a man standing in my house at the top of my stairs, I would just walk right back out that door. I would 
I would just walk right back out that door and I would sit in my car. But instead of doing that, she started yelling at him. She shouted at him to get out. And instead of listening to her, he starts bolting towards her daughter's room, which is his girlfriend's room. And so she chases him and she doesn't find him because he disappears. And so I'm assuming that she already knows that he's in the attic because He's been living in the attic and they know he's been living in the attic. And so she calls the cops and the cops arrive for not the first time, not the second time, but the third time. And when the police arrive, they already know what's up and they search the house and they find him lying on the ceiling rafters in a crawl space in the attic. But props to him because he didn't lie underneath the Christmas decorations this time. He actually chose a different hiding spot. Still not good enough though because the cops found him and they pulled him out of the attic forcefully because he refused to leave. And when I was reading this, I was just thinking to myself, why are you refusing to leave? It's not your house. Where else are you gonna go? Like you're trapped, you're in an attic. They're gonna get you out. Like there's no, <laughs> you're not gonna win in this situation. And so after they arrested him, the police found out that at night he would come out from the attic and go into his girlfriend's bedroom while her door was locked. And then to get back up in the attic, he would go through a door in her closet. So I don't really know if it was like a door or if it was like one of those attic like ceiling doors where you would like pull down like a ladder or something, but he would find a way to get back up there. And so then he was arrested on suspicion of aggravated criminal trespassing and resisting arrest. Oh, I also forget to... I also forgot to mention that previously the daughter had run away and I guess that she went to go see her boyfriend. They weren't really clear on that, but I'm gonna guess that she went to go see her boyfriend. I mean, I guess that's one way to have your boyfriend live with you. Not the best way. If that was my daughter and she was having her boyfriend live in my house's attic, I would be very, very mad and also very scared because did you see that dude? Like, he was really scary looking. Like, get a haircut, dude. Run a comb through your hair. Maybe shave your face a little. Like, if my daughter was dating this dude, she's not my daughter anymore. <laughs> Just kidding. I will always love my kids, but not if they date someone like this. What I am wondering is, did he live there like full time or did he just live there on the weekends like just to chill? Did he eat their food or did he shower there? What did they do at night? Never mind. I actually don't want to know the answer to that. I can boldly assume. I know I said before that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. And he only did the Christmas decoration thing twice, but he snuck back into his girlfriend's house's attic three times that we know of and got caught. Like, I feel like after I get caught for something once, I'm not gonna do it again, especially sneaking into someone's house and living there without the owners knowing. But like, he did it again and again. Also, here's a picture of him getting arrested. <laughs> it's really funny because there are so many things going on in this picture. Like, I gotta say, for someone like him, like, you can just kind of assume things. Like, I'm glad that he has his pants up. Like, that's something that I noticed right off the bat, is that he had his pants pretty far up for someone that would sneak into people's houses without them knowing. Good job, dude. I really think his face is hilarious. I... To me, it kind of looks like he's really disappointed that he got caught for the third time sneaking into the same house. He just looks so upset. No, don't arrest me, not for the third time. <laughs> he looks so upset. <laughs> and I also think that this cop that you can see, his face is hilarious. Because <laughs> I think the mother took this picture and she was just like, like, hell yeah, he's getting arrested. And then the, the cop wasn't expecting her to take that picture and he's like, wait, no, I wasn't ready for the picture. He just looks so confused, but at the same time, he knows what he's doing because he's done this three times already, so. Okay, I know this is not what I'm about to say, but it just looks like on his chest right up here, he's wearing a seatbelt buckle. And I know that that's like the walkie talkie type of thing and probably like a shadow, but it looks like he's wearing the part of the seatbelt that you buckle into the little buckle thing. There's just so much going on in this picture. This guy is wearing a wife beater shirt. Where do you think he got his jeans from? Probably Walmart. I think I've seen those in Walmart before. Anyways, after watching the story time, I hope that you will go up to your attic, 
or down to your basement and check if anyone is living in there because honestly they might there are so many stories about people not knowing that they've had people living in their houses and these stories come from people that actually had no idea like they didn't ever hear any noises coming from above or anything because these people who live in other people's houses are like experts at it well except for this dude because he got caught three times and continue to do it but anyways go check your basement go check your attic thank you so much for watching my video and also congratulations to madison bailiff for winning my google home mini giveaway thank you to everyone who entered i'm really sorry that you didn't win i definitely want to do more giveaways and i have an iphone giveaway on my mind so again thank you so much for watching stay safe stay inside do not touch people and wash your hands not that washing your hands should be a new thing, but apparently it is. It is currently 2 a.m., so I'm gonna go to bed now. So please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week.